Alrighty, what's up YouTube? Ah, uh, Sasha Gravy basically coming at you from the farm. Uh, looking at the solar panels. Please mind the, uh, this is the solar shed with the uh, inverters and batteries and things. Please mind the, the mess. We're not even a year in here yet and I'm still organizing this shed. And yeah, I'll clean it up. But I've uh, been cutting rebar today. Uh, cutting rebar, cutting, actually cutting this rebar. The uh, people that constructed the house left me a big old fat piece of rebar here that I am <coughs> going to utilize to its fullest here on these posts. As a matter of fact, you can see what I'm going to do the rebar with, what I'm going to do with it. Uh, drilling holes, putting rebar in there so that when I put that end of the post in the hole, then the concrete catches and I have a place to anchor to. But these are one, two, three pieces of four by four treated that I have prepped to go into one, where's the red one, two, three holes. And basically, I'm going to have a, a solar awning on this side of the place. Uh, I'll put these 4x4s four up here. Uh, and then I'll stretch. I've got some 2x4 joist hangers that I'll put on the side of the building there. And then I'll run 2x10 two 2x4s two to the joist hangers. Uh, and then use bolts and tie downs to put three solar panels deep four no 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 three and three and three so nine and nine of 18 i should be able to put 18 up there but anyway uh and i also wanted to show you get you bring you up to speed on the project here on the other solar panel mount projects because i have actually completed all of my posts you can see there, uh, the posts are all dug three foot deep. So those are actually eight foot posts. So they're three, three foot deep and they also have rebar across them and things like that. So I'll get plenty of grip when I pour concrete into the base of each one of these holes. Um, which is fine. Very soon I will be going to the, to the Home Depot and getting the concrete. Um, I made a boo-boo here. Uh, I went out and bought 10 bags of, 10 60-pound bags of Quickrete, uh, only to have it rain on me last week. So, I've got 10 60-pound bricks that I need to do something with, probably take to the garbage before I go back and get 10 more bags. Anyway, uh, let's see. That's the lumber. That right there is the lumber. That's the treated that I will use for the cross membrane pieces here. So if you can see what I'm doing, and I've been trying to explain this since the beginning. I have uh, bolts here. You see, this is the center post in one and two, one and two. And so this array will attach to this part of the post, to the right side of the post, and the other array will catch the left side of the post here uh, but with that said the each of the arrays will have a two by six attach right here uh, that's eight foot long and it'll be balanced and then on this end on this end right here there'll be 12 foot uh, sections that tie this end together and the same thing on that end and then I'll put steel across it to put the solar panels on anyway and then it will tilt this side that side because that's directly east so i'll track it from the sun from when the sun comes up which is actually quite early uh and then i'll get full power across the full sky track it over here and then across at night it'll it'll go back and i'm running all of that with a raspberry pi which is actually pretty cool uh Let's see, what else? There's the 12 foot two by sixes. There's the eight foot two by sixes, both treated. 
There's the 10 foot two by fours that are gonna go in the joists across here. Oh, and there's my post hole digger. Oh my God, is that thing cool. Just the coolest thing in the world. Anyway, um, that's it from the, uh, from the homestead, from the solar farm, from the solar mining farm. Uh, let's see. That's all I can think of. Thank you for your time. Bye.